Hey and welcome back to the channel. My name is Gary. I'm a cybersecurity professional by day. Last week I showed you how to set up Metasploitable and this week I'm going to show you how to get root in less than a minute. If you haven't seen the setup for this, I'll leave the link in the description below. Metasploitable 2 is a great place to come and learn the basics of hacking. So let's get into it. So here we have our Kali Linux machine and we also have our Metasploitable 2 machine. I know what the IP address is for the Metasploitable machine. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do an nmap scan. So we'll nmap-h, let's look at some help options. And we'll use a command like this. nmap-v to make it verbose so we see the output. Capital A. And then we'll do 172.16.111.131. T4, in fact, T5, why not? Maximum threads to make it go really fast. And we will output all formats to Metasploitable Scan. There we go. So let's just wait on this finishing. We can see already a fair number of ports are open here. I see a website on port 80 probably, FTP server on port 21. There we go. Now if I type ls, you can see there are three files in here. We can read this, cat metasploitable, and let's read the nmap. And if we scroll back up the page, here we go. 977 closed TCP ports. Port 21 is open. It's an FTP service and it's VSFTPD234. That's the version number. VSFTPD is quite interesting. If I just bring in my browser, here it is. It means very secure FTP. Remember that it's called very secure because we're about to find out that it's completely not secure because in July 2011, version 234 had been compromised on its master site, meaning that someone compromised the website where that software was hosted and put their own version of the software in there. So anybody else who went and downloaded it got the backdoored version, the poisoned version. And we see a lot of this today in the world of supply chain attacks. In fact, a good friend of mine, Jason, he did a video about supply chain attacks and I'll put a link to that in the description below. Check it out. So anybody who downloaded this and installed it were completely compromisable. And what's funny is if you use a username with a smiley face in it, that's how you get access. It creates a backdoor on port 6200. Now there's a couple of ways to exploit this. Let's check out Netcat because it's really easy. Let's just ping the host just to make sure it's still available and it is. We will type netcat 172.16.111.131 and we want to connect to port 21 because that's the FTP port. And we can see VS FTPD version 234 and nothing seems to happen. So I'll just type something. Here we go. Please log in with user and pass. And what it's looking for is user, username, password, password, one, two, three. And as you can see, that will be incorrect. But let's try it again. User, Gary, smiley face pass anything I want. Okay, looks like nothing has happened. Let's pop out of this and then we will netcat to port 6200. And it looks like nothing has happened, but There's no command prompt here, but as you can see, I have root access to the machine. If I type ifconfig, we can see we're clearly inside the Metasploitable 2 VM. So just like that, we have root level access to that entire Linux machine, Metasploitable 2. I recommend you check out this exploit and also look at the Metasploit module for it. See if you can figure that one out for yourself. And there's a whole raft of other exploits that you can do against the Metasploitable 2 machine. And remember, if you're new to hacking, have fun. 
you'll remember a whole lot more if you're having fun. I'll see you next time.